Sounds good. Well, hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Um, as Jeff had said, I'm your EBSCO representative. So I cover six states, Wisconsin being one of them, and I'm fortunate enough to actually live right here in Wisconsin. So I'm enjoying the same 30 degree weather that you are right now if you're, if you're in the state. Um, I know with working from home, some people working remotely uh, have other, other places that they're able to work from, but uh, I am right here. And as being part of EBSCO, uh, I'd like to just say I'm a proud partner working with Wills and BadgerLink. So just to kind of reintroduce EBSCO, we, act, we provide 44 of the individual databases and learning resources through BadgerLink. Um, what's really nice is we've got five age appropriate interfaces that we work with in our Explora outlets. And we also offer individual school and library access support. So if you need any training or if you need any additional information, feel free to reach out to me on any of the BadgerLink resources. They do a great job of providing, you know, different um, scavenger hunts and teacher guides and things like that. But rest assured that for all age groups, um, I'm the K-12, so I go kindergarten through high school and also the public library representative. So if you do have any information that you need or any training, um, I just wanted to cover a few of the great resources that are available through BadgerLink. Um, I kind of skipped over the children's section, but Explora is a fantastic interface. There's also a teacher's version of Explora that really helps solidify all of the resources that you already have through the state. Um, and in a children's department or in the K through eight realm, um, a couple of the key areas that we like to focus on as resources would be Novelist K-8, which gives you a great idea of what read-alikes. If a student is really enjoying one type of book, you can use Novelist K-8 to find other books that are like that. Um, primary Search and Middle Search and also Learning Express Library School Center is fantastic to help not only your current students, but also those learning remotely. In the middle school and high school resources, um, that's where we really have a large number of resources available. So feel free to take a look at those. Um, we also have some great resources for teachers and librarians. So in this age of uh, COVID right now, professional development is key in a lot of environments. So by all means, there's some outstanding resources there too. But what I really wanted to talk about today was Prenda. Um, it's a new product of ours that we've been working with. Um, and it really does a great job of starting a coding club or also some self-paced learning if you're trying to support your STEM and STEAM programs. So what Prenda really is, is a gamified, self-paced code platform. It's web-based for ages 8 through 18. And it just does a really nice job of simplifying uh, coding. And I'll show you a little bit more about how that works. Some of the things that are really fantastic, like I had already mentioned, it's ages 8 through 18. And it does a nice job of really providing a platform, even if you don't have a coding person or a, a, somebody that really understands coding on staff, because it is all self-paced and it's a number of different videos and tutorials that guide people through, your students through the process. The content that we have, you see a little bit of the platform itself on the screenshot, but there's over 300 coding tutorials and activities work that, um, that are brought out through the workouts that we use. And there's more than 30 projects um, that cover things like website design, video games, animations. So over four years of curriculum are built into this program. And again, the nice thing is you don't have to be a coding whiz um, to go through this program with your students. What's also nice is not only does it help you design websites through HTML, CSS, and SQL, 
but you can also do games and backend scripting. So if you're working in an environment that you have robots or some other things, um, we can definitely satisfy those coding needs also. And you'll also notice that we work with Makey Makey and Raspberry Pi um, for makerspace devices. Some of the features, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's web-based. So you, if you have Chromebooks, if you have laptops, if you even have Macs or tablets, your remote access learners can figure out how to get on it with all of those. There's no downloads required, it's all streaming. And as I mentioned, the reward system in the gamification program of it really helped to make sure that the students stay engaged. Some of the features, as you can see from this screenshot, and I'll go into a little bit of it in our demonstration, but you'll notice here that you have a ton of workout gear. Um, so you're always trying to work and strive for that next level, that next um, avatar reward that you would get in either the workouts or the mission tools. So whether it's a belt or a hat or some um, robot sidekicks, you can have all of those things as you're learning. And what's also nice is in your portfolio, you can share this out. There's a really nice parents share button that you can share with friends. You can um, put out to the actual full, um, port, the full group of users that are using Prenda, which now is over 25,000 users to kind of really show off your work and let people know what you're doing. There's also a nice um, moderated discussion board that if you have questions or if you want to chat about something, you can put it out to the game board and have other people comment on it or give you suggestions. So it really is building a nice community along with um, what people are looking for. And from an administrator standpoint, you also have great reporting statistics. You can help your users with res password resets. And there's a built-in messaging system if you want to uh, just chat with some of the people that are either in your club, in your group, or working at it on an individual basis. With Prenda, when you order it, we have special pricing through Wills that's available. Um, but the nice thing is for your school or your library, it offers unlimited users. Those users have unlimited access and you also have access to club training. Um, we support everything as far as if you have questions, you have access to our coder trainers that are available to answer them for you but it really is a full turnkey solution. Again, just so you don't have to feel uncomfortable with any lack of knowledge. Plus you could also be walking through this with them and learn some interesting skills along with you. So what I'll do is I'll just show you a little bit about what the, I'll stop sharing for a second and go into the club itself. So let me know when you see the club code, Does, is it up? It is, it looks good, Jim. Okay, so as you can see here, you have a username and password. When I Once I log in, you would get access to your avatar. You'll notice here that you have the home base. You also have the gear that might be available, which having started a new session, I don't really have anything, but the way it works is your workouts are kind of your training sessions. There's small bite size areas where it, once I complete the first one and my getting started, I would earn a shirt. And then as I work through these different um, workouts, whether I wanna work on web design, creating games, scripting, and it doesn't necessarily have to go in a one, two, three. If I wanna start with Makerspace and work in Raspberry Pi, I can start there. So the workouts, again, are kind of those bite-size introductions and also the ability to uh, practice. And the missions are where you're actually doing full-fledged projects. So if you wanna create that first game, it would be in a mission environment. Once I create that mission, then I would be able to get whatever um, avatar rewards are available. 
and then track them in the portfolio. So again, it's for ages eight through 18. It's a full service turnkey provided solution for creating either a club code gaming um, group or a class or even just having a club. So we help you with that. We have a lot of administrative tools and we also have fantastic reward-based streaming um, uh, training that goes along with this. So I'm almost at the end of my time. I'll leave a couple, like a minute for questions if there are any, but if you would like to trial it, I will share my information with Sarah and Jeff at Wills and by all means reach out to me and I'd be happy to let you play with it. Thank you so much, Jim. Um, this is exactly the kind of thing that I wish had existed uh, when I was uh, of school age. And these are, are the kinds of tools that I think uh, adults <laughs> really need too. So, uh, you know, that that's a really exciting way to kind of make fun uh, a set of skills that I think is going to be never going to be less important. It's always going to be more important as time goes on, right? So, so that's absolutely that's really cool. Um, well, and coding can be pretty intimidating if you don't have somebody that's into coding on staff. This makes it really easy to actually have those types of skills available um, without having to have that technical person on staff. Yeah, that's just how I feel too. Like I, I, that, that would make me feel more confident in, in trying to build up those skills is to have a, a program like this available to me. Uh, I'm sure that would be true for the, <laughs> the intended audience, which is uh, school age uh, people as well. Um, so I, I, I don't see any questions uh, ha showing up in chat or the little Q&A module, but um, as Jim said, feel free to please do reach out to uh, Sarah Gold or myself and we will for sure, put you in touch with, with Jim to, to get you a trial or, or a quote or whatever you need to get started. 